so I honestly have no idea what direction this video is going to go. I just know that it's time that I just speak about what's going on and how I feel and kind of give an explanation to those of you who have noticed that I haven't really been on social media lately and I haven't really felt myself. So let's see, today is July 22nd. On July 17th at 7.02 p.m., I got a text message from my mother saying, and I quote, Travis committed suicide. Now Travis is my uncle. He is my He's the youngest of my two uncles, and he's my mother's baby brother. I really thought that, like, I've waited long enough to where I probably won't be crying <laughs> in this video, but I don't know. I think I'll cry every time I bring it up. 7.02 p.m. Travis committed suicide. 10.01. We got him. It took three hours for, you know, the medics and cleanup crew to get him and put him in his bag. I didn't have the closest relationship with my uncle. I'm a, I'm a little surprised at how upset I am, to be completely honest. And I feel horrible for even saying that. I've dealt with death, I feel time in the past. Um, my grandfather um, got cancer and passed away and that was upsetting. One of my best friends from high school died fairly recently of a drug overdose. But this one just hit a little different. because at the end of the day, this was a mental health issue that sometimes I feel could have been avoided if people talked about mental health more, if it wasn't such a taboo subject speak on, I feel like every member of your family has the right to know what physical and mental illnesses run in the family so that one day they can be taken care of, if not even stopped. My uncle has had some mental illness problems for, I'd say, the past year now, where he's had a psychotic break and he's needed help. But the worst thing about mental illness is sometimes you don't even know you're sick. People reach out and they want to help you, but you don't think anything is wrong because it's just gotten that far. I haven't talked to Travis since September of last year. On 
September 11th, he had messaged me and said, I'm safe. Don't worry about me. But he wasn't safe and I was worried, but he was at the point where he just, he thought everything was okay. And then he sent me a voice memo that it was my uncle's voice, but it wasn't my uncle's words. so sick that his last words to me were, you little cunt. But I know they weren't his words. It was the illness talking. He wasn't there anymore. We did what we could, we tried. I guess I just assumed that he's been getting better this whole time. When I guess in reality he was getting worse. I'm making this video because I'm not good with my words. I don't have really any photos that I can post of us together. I don't have any of those kinds of memories with it. I remember growing up thinking that my uncle was the coolest like BMX bike rider that I've ever known. You know, like, he was pretty cool. He was pretty cool. So really I just wanted to make this video to sit down and talk and tell whoever's listening what's going on. What I think is like one of the hardest parts is it was just so sudden. You know, like with my grandfather it was a short amount of time, but we knew he was sick. So we got to evolve and deal with that as it came. Not, this was very sudden. I at least didn't see it coming, but then again, like I said, I stopped talking to him at the end of last year, so I didn't know what was going on. Hurt people hurt people. So I don't hold anything he said to me or about me against him. Just take mental health seriously. Talk to your friends, talk to your family, talk to a doctor, talk to anyone who's willing to listen. 
we're at a time where the internet and other people are just a tap away. So just reach out to someone. I understand being sad and disappointed in yourself. But it'll get better. I hope it gets better. Appreciate the people in your life while you have them. Tell people you love them, even if they're just your friend. Normalize telling people you love them. Give, give them a hug. If you need a hug, tell someone you need a hug. you all. I'm sorry. This has been a long, strange video.